welcome back to the channel everybody we officially have the strawberry crepe cookie coming back in the current meta especially at the top tier ranks as far as the entire team we've got financier and strawberry crepe in the front line in the middle we've got caramel arrow and sorbet and in the back we've also got cream unicorn as far as all three individual treasures go we've got the old pilgrim scroll we've got the robe and then also the jelly watch now diving into the topics here for strawberry crepe as always it's going to be a balancing act between damage resistance and cooldown we want to make sure that they have enough damage resistance to tank a lot of damage because again they're going to be placed in the front line and not only that we need a bunch of cooldown to make sure that we can utilize that 50 percent damage resistance buff that they are giving to the two cookies with the lowest hp the next cookie is going to be financier running a full solid almond set as you guys can see here we're trying to stack as much damage resistance as we possibly can coming in at a 48 percent to aid to their overall survivability now diving into caramel arrow here when it comes to toppings we're going to be running a full solid almond set and there's going to be one stipulation as always when you use caramel arrow alongside the robe and that's going to be the you know robes buff we want to make sure that that attack speed buff gets applied to caramel arrow and we do that by making sure that she has the highest attack speed on the entire team all right so again we're going to be coming in at a 5.8 percent attack speed a little bit higher than we actually need but nevertheless you got to make sure he, she has the highest amount of attack so she does guarantee that you know buff from the robe outside of that the additional damage resistance is going to be nice we've got 43.3 percent we've also got you know 3.4 percent for crit resist and 1.7 on the overall cooldown the fourth cookie we've got that's going to be sorbet shark running a mixed set we're going to be running two solid almonds and three swift chocolates ideally here again you're going to be playing back and forth between stacking as much damage resistance as you possibly can and not only that as much cooldown as you can to utilize the skill for that true damage to hopefully take out the frontline tanks so we can get to vampire as quickly as possible to shut down the team and not only that we also need to make sure that they can take some hits as well becoming in at that 25 percent damage resistance now the last cookie we've got that's going to be running cream unicorn on a full swift chocolate set now, obviously, it's going to be another balancing act between stacking damage resistance and then also cooldown. You can see damage resistance, we've got 23.9%, and we've got a cooldown of 16.1%. But nevertheless, try to get the highest amount that you can and spread them between both of these individual substats because, again, we want to make sure we utilize the skill as often as making sure that they do stay alive and can take some hits. Alrighty, so then diving into an overall match here, guys, we're going to be going up against this opponent just randomly on my arena list here. It looks like they're going to be running the tri and true vampire espresso composition we've got wild berry financier probably here in the front we've got pomegranate espresso and i'm assuming that this is going to be vampire in the back all right they've got 1.2 million overall attack they're going to be running the monocle the jelly watch and then the old pilgrim scroll Alrighty, so officially diving into the overall match man let's see yeah it is the vampire espresso composition as i imagined but nevertheless, let's see what happens here. Let's see if we have enough damage resistance on all of my cookies to sustain and not only that, utilize the arena buffs as it counts down for our Caramel Arrow to just absolutely shred them. Um, so let's see what happens here. So far, it's not doing too bad. We haven't lost Strawberry Crepe, but I honestly figured we would um, with how little damage resistance we've got on the Swift Chocolate set. But whew, look at that. Look at that, baby. We're definitely going to pop off the win here. I'm very curious to see the damage, though. Sorbet did end up dying, which is okay. All right, there it is. Finally got the win. I was like, what is going on here? I didn't realize that their vampire moved forward on us. All right, so the overall numbers, let's check it out. Ooh, look at this. 3.2 million and 2.1 million coming in here on Sorbet. That is going to be how you do it against the Vampire Espresso composition. Already now diving into the second match we've got here. That's going to be going up against a friend on my friends list, Bruhface. Shout out to you, my friend. But nevertheless, they're going to be running the Vampire Espresso composition. However, this time, instead of Pomegranate, they're actually going to be utilizing the Cream Unicorn. They've got the Old Pilgrim Scroll, the Jelly Watch, and then also the Monocle. Already so officially diving into the overall match, man. Let's see what happens. I'm very curious to see how it pans out against another cream unicorn this time instead of pomegranate. So effectively, that means that they don't get the attack buff from pomegranate. So they should be doing less damage overall potentially. But cream unicorn has some amazing, you know, um, saves when it comes to her overall healing. So I'm very curious. To see how this goes. I got quiet there for a second because I thought cream unit or uh oh strawberry crepe is dead. That's what I was worried about. Oh man, are we gonna get the win? They still have their cream unicorn and 
Oh, never mind. We did get the win. Let's go, dude. That was really close. We got down to only Carmel and Financier into their vampire. Oof, man. I'm curious to see the numbers. Oh, look at that, though. Look at that. 3.3 million on Carmel Arrow. Just absolutely carrying the team. We did lose Strawberry Crate pretty early on. And then we've got 2 million here on Sorbet. Definitely destroying the tanks in the front line. Already diving into a third match. We got on a random opponent on my arena list to hit. We're going to be running the tried and true Vampire Expresso composition. They do have 1.4 million attack power, though, which is kind of scary. But they are going to be running the Revive Feather. So that's going to be a little bit different here than the Monocle. Already so officially diving in. I'm eager to see who the last one in the back. It was Cream Unicorn, as I expected it to be. What is going to be interesting, though, I didn't realize, is they're actually bringing Caramel Arrow with them next to Financier instead of Wildberry Cookie or Dark Cacao. And that, my friend, is going to be very scary. I don't know if I've got enough survivability on my team to withstand a Caramel Arrow, Vampire, and Espresso. Oh, man. And they're ranked 4,000th here. I'm very curious. We did bop off what, uh, who was it? Caramel Arrow? Did we get their Caramel Arrow early on? Oh, man. If you, if, oh, dude. Cream Unicorn, can she can sustain? Oh, do we get the win? No way. 24,000 to 4,000? Let's go, dude. The only one alive is their Cream Unicorn, which does nothing. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. That was crazy. I didn't even realize we were going to get that win. All right, let's check those numbers, dude. Ooh, 3.4 million coming in here for Caramel Arrow and 2 million coming in on Sorbet, dude. Very nice. Yeah, this was a very interesting composition utilizing Caramel Arrow here instead of another tank. Well, there you guys have it. Officially, Strawberry Crepe can be used in the current meta, especially to go up against a Vampire Expresso composition that is littered through the overall arena. You guys know what to do. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Cookie Run Kingdom related. As I cover it all from guides, tips, tutorials, you name it, you'll find it here. But with that being said, as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.